Oh, why, hello there, everyone. Amanda here, Erotic Blueprint Breakthrough Coach and doTERRA Wellness Advocate. I am here for day two of essential oils and the erotic blueprint types. So today I am covering the sensual. So the sensual is someone who is turned on by the senses beautiful artwork, beautiful scenery, amazing tastes, chocolate, delicious food. Mm, they're the type that will go mmm and ah and move their bodies. They're the type that love to dance and be sensual and move and grind. Um, they are turned on by beautiful smells. Hello, essential oils and can listen and when music is perfect and to their liking and really enjoyable that can bring so much pleasure to their body so so sensual sensuals i don't know, get my tongue right sensuals need to have a distinct separation between everyday life work the kids the busyness tasks to do's errands they need to have a distinct separation between that and pleasure. And so where I was explaining yesterday that the erotic or sorry, the energetic type is a lot like getting a fire going. They need space and anticipation and tease. The sensual is like having the right wood enjoying the crackling sounds, the heat, the warmth, the temperature, same thing. <laughs> Um, the smell. They are all about the ambiance. So if you want to turn on essential and take them into being completely present in their body, they need toggles like massage, hot baths, the room to be organized and the music to be right. And so where the energetic is light hovering touch and off the body, the sensual likes deep tissue massage or sensual massage. They like in order, they need to feel absolutely relaxed and present in their bodies to feel pleasure or to receive pleasure. Because the shadow aspect of the sensual is that if they're not in their bodies, or if pleasure happens again, like the energetic, too fast, too soon, and they haven't gotten into that relaxed state, they can be up in their heads, and they can get distracted, and they could be thinking, oh my god, the smell is off in the room, and there's socks on the floor, and did I take the laundry out of the dryer, and is it going to get moldy? Um, they need that grounding sensation, that pressure. They love soft, sensual textures over the skin. So this is like a fur um, little mitt, actually. They need another really great thing to use for essential is a blindfold. A blindfold will take them out of the distraction, okay? And it will open them up to just being like, oh, and so, like I kind of mentioned before, they're the type that will be like, oh, mm, yes, like, ooh, they really like use their, their, their um, voice when they're really receiving um, deep pleasure. What else was I going to say? They, I've lost it now. I had a really good one on the next, <laughs> the next line. But yeah, the sensual, they, they just love to just dive into the senses. And so um, for the sensual, they, again, have a hard time getting out of their heads sometimes. They can be really picky and easily thrown off. Um, they may have an aversion to mess. So if you're using the pullout method um, or you reach um, the stage of squirting or there's, you know, spit or something like that involved, they may have an aversion to like come and to fluids and to mess. And 
So a, a, another little thing to have close for someone like that is to have like maybe like a damp towel or a warm towel like close by and to have that so that like you can clean up the mess um, um, quickly. So because they can get stuck in their head, the orgasm be can, can become like elusive. Like they're, they're, they're there, they're on it, like they're focused, and then an idea will pop into their head. And so another good thing to use for someone who is sensual and you're giving to a sensual is to keep tell them, telling them that you're enjoying yourself. Keep telling them that they're beautiful. Tell them that they smell and taste amazing. It will help them stay in their bodies and out of their heads and really in that state of focus, focus focusing on the pleasure. And um, yeah, so some things that you could use are like fuzzy things, soft things, essential oils in the diffuser, um, ask them what kind of music they like. If they don't like music, I don't suggest, um, I suggest playing it or play something that doesn't have lyrics. That's just like subtle in the background so they don't get caught up in the lyrics and out of the state of pleasure. Um, so, and another thing that you can do is like play with like temperature, temperature things like maybe ice or like warm or like vibration. Uh, yeah. So that's just the sensual in a nutshell. And I wanted to, uh, yeah, share the oils that will help the sensual type. So my first pick and honestly an oil that I use every day, I have a little roller bottle, um, by my by my bedside table with balance and um bergamot i rub it on the bottoms of my feet so balance is the oil of grounding so it is mostly compiled of trees it's only compiled of trees um and it is like it is like a tree the oil is like a tree. It's very amazing because what it will help do, because the shadow aspect of um, the sensual is that they can get caught up in their heads, is the balance will really help draw the energy down from the head and into their body, like the roots of a tree, and down into their lower extremities, okay? And so you can diffuse this you can drop um, a drop on your hands, rub them together and inhale. Um, you can apply to the feet and I, su I highly suggest applying to this, to this to the feet. Um, and you can <laughs> chuck in it. Um, you can massage into the shoulders again for that deep relaxation. And you can put it on the perineum, which is the space between the anus or asshole, however you want to call it, um, and the base of the testes or the um, right before the vaginal opening, okay? So you can die heavily dilute and massage right there. It'll really help bring the energy down into the genitals. Um, so it helps focus scattered thoughts. Um, it helps, be, helps the individuals be present in the moment and like a tree, imagine a tree is always like there, okay? present, not going anywhere, solid. Um, and it helps us get reconnect to our roots into like the truth of who we really are. Um, and it moves, like I said before, energy out of the head and into the lower body. The next oil that I highly suggest for the sensual is serenity. Serenity is the oil of tranquility. And so this is blend is a blend of like trees and uh flowers so it's really got that like that floral woody scent it's amazing and so this oil is great for relaxation hence serenity so it helps those individuals be like okay i got home from work and just to be like <sighs> i'm present i'm here i have that separation from the busyness of life to the present moment and present moment with my partner, myself, or my many lovers. Um, it is, it invites individuals to release feelings of stress, um, anxiousness, overwhelm, emotional overload, and uh, disconnect. You can diffuse this, drop it on your hand, rub them together, inhale. Uh, you can put it on the forehead and the temples 
and behind the ears and I really really love this because I find that it's because it's the woods and the florals it really really um, is compatible with everyone and um, you can rub it onto the lo lower belly and the neck and the wrists yeah because so it has it's really beautiful when like your lover or you're caressing yourself to have it up there and yeah, near the nose and um, really really impacting that limbic system which directly impacts the emotional body um so the next oil i don't have it here because it's downstairs in my bedroom is patchouli and so patchouli is the oil of physicality it supports individuals in becoming fully present in their bodies. Um, you can put this on the bottoms of the feet and the base of the spine. It is grounding and stabilizing and it creates that fluidity, okay? And so the, the, the sensuals really are those people who rock and roll and caress and move and dance. And it helps that fluidity. It helps really get into the body. Hence, I'm kind of repeating myself. All of these oils help the sensual type get into their body. Um, it connects the spirit to the body. It helps us become one. And it re-helps, it re-helps, it really helps um, release emotional judgments associated with the bodies, with the body. So say you are a sensual, sensual type and um, one of the shadows is, you know, you overindulge and you um, consume too much. And I don't really believe in consuming too much as long as you're okay with it. But if you're judging yourself for consuming too much, the food you eat and you and the, like the weight of your body and you aren't accepting your of your body, the cl clary sage will really help in body acceptance. Um, and it really helps bring that like body acceptance and that confidence to just be present in the body and to just like fucking take it all. And uh, yeah, those are my three for uh, moving out of the shadow aspect of the sensual. And now I'm going to talk about the oils to expand into the sensual type. So if you are one of the other, um, if you are one of the other blueprint types and you're looking and you're not really one of those people who likes massages and likes is turned on by the senses, these oils will help you kind of expand into um, the qualities of the sensual. And so Ylang Ylang is, I don't have it here either, it's also in my uh, bedroom. So it is an, it's a huge aphrodisiac and it is the oil of the inner child. It is um, really increases that sense of innocence and joy and play and easefulness and cuddling. Like kids are just so in the moment and so playful and so present. And so if you want to expand into the sensual, this is one oil that I highly suggest. And I really suggest this oil mixing it in with like massage oils or your diffuser blends because it is, it's, and you only need like one drop. Some people love the smell, some people aren't um, so into it. So you can use it and apply it in the strengths that you, that resonate with you. But yeah, it helps connect to vulnerability, the emotions, and that soft and cuddly caressing nature of the inner child. And, you know, side note, if you do have some inner child wounds, this is another oil that will help that inner child in you feel safe and comfortable to express your sexuality. Um, another oil that I suggest is Clary Sage. Um, it is a powerful, powerful remedy for the heart. Oh, side note, Ylang Ylang, you can apply this all over the body, but I highly suggest to apply it over the heart. Um, dilute, dilute, dilute all of these oils with fractionated coconut oil and massage into the areas that I've suggested, but over the heart really brings out that playfulness and that joyfulness and that play of the inner child. And so back to Clary Sage. Clary Sage is a powerful remedy for the heart. It is um, the oil of perception and clarity and vision. 
it uh, helps us move past those like limiting beliefs and those distractions and to really just see yourself as who you really are see the truth how it really is and see your other human or humans as they are and be accepting of that um, this really opens up people their vision their clarity their open it opens up um, the individual to new experiences um, it eliminates those distractions and so I suggest applying this to the forehead and behind the ears over the chest. And so those are the oils that I suggest for the essential uh, erotic blueprint type. And yeah, if you are interested in getting your own collection, using these oils and really creating sensual space and really, really integrating them into your health and well-being practice and tapping into the emotional body because that is just like the area that I am really, really um, into when it comes to essential oils is really, really getting into the emotional um, and the energetic components of the oils because oils have all different kinds of vibrations and we have different kinds of vibrations and everything is time, energy, frequency, vibration. And so I think they're an amazing tool. And yeah, if you want to learn more about what I do as an erotic blueprint breakthrough coach, reach out to me, send me a DM. I am taking on new clients for the eight week erotic blueprint breakthrough co um, course, which is honestly from the bottom of my fucking pussy it has changed my life it brought me out of smallness and contraction and fear and overwhelm to being able to speak the truth of who i am my needs um when things don't fa feel right boundaries you name it so I hope this was enjoyable and again, if you want to be connected with essential oils, um, DM me. There's a link in my bio as well. There are some amazing promos going on until the end of the month. You get a bunch of shit free of um, the On Guard uh, line, which is like the oil of protection, um, COVID and everything. And um, yeah, if you're interested in learning more about the erotic blueprint types, take the quiz. The link is in my bio and follow, yeah, erotic blueprint breakthrough quiz. And um, let's and dive into what type you are. And because I promise you there are there is so much information and so much expansion to happen through the erotic blueprint types. So much love and take care.